What's going on guys and welcome back to the course. This is the second video of 10 and in this video right here I'm going to be going over what makes a winning product. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what to look for when you're looking for winning products, um, the criteria that I use, and I'm going to give you guys some examples. I'm also going to show you guys where to source these products from. I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you guys have any questions put them down below. Give this a thumbs up, it helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm, and please subscribe so you can find these videos easily. Also below, I have a link to a three day free trial of Shopify, and it's a dollar per month for the first three months after that. So you're not gonna wanna miss that, get that before that goes away. Okay, and with that being said, let's get straight into the video. All right guys, so now you're at the point where you're gonna start looking for different products to sell on your store. So picking the right product to sell on your store is one of the most crucial parts of this whole dropshipping business. If you pick the right product, everything can work in your favor. But if you pick the wrong product, it's gonna be very hard for you to succeed with this business. Over the past few years, I've tested hundreds of different products. You name it, I've tested it. But there's something that I quickly noticed as to why some products were succeeding and some were failing. So I went over and analyzed all of my past winning products and I noticed that they had a few key things in common. So at the top of my list, and I think the most important thing to look for when looking for a product to sell is if it solves a problem or not. If it solves a problem for somebody, then somebody's going to want to buy it. All you have to do is address the problem and then sell them the solution, which is your product. I feel like this is a lot easier to do because it pretty much sells itself. So now I'm going to give you guys some examples of what problem solving products look like so you guys have a better idea for yourselves. So first up, just like in the example before, we have this pregnancy body pillow. So for pregnant women, it's a lot harder for them to sleep because they have a huge bump on their stomach. And especially if they're stomach sleepers, this pillow helps everything. Um, so here it says it helps neck support, improves posture, relieves aches and pains, alleviates pressure, and increases circulation. So if you're a pregnant woman and you come across this ad and you have trouble sleeping and this is the solution to your problems, I'm sure they're going to be very interested in buying this. So the problem is that pregnant women have trouble sleeping the solution is that this body pillow supports all areas of the body throughout pregnancy. So again, just like in the example before, we have the Blendjet, which is the portable blender. If you work out and you go to the gym, maybe before work or after work, you're not going to want to carry a big blender around with you and have the inconvenience of plugging it in, cleaning it out, blah, blah, blah. So this is solving a problem for people who don't want to carry a big blender around and just want to carry something small and get their nutrition right after a workout or right before a workout. This is also nice just to have a portable smoothie maybe with your lunch or if you're gonna have a snack something you could take with you to the office or going out maybe to a picnic or something like that. So this eliminates the need to bring a huge blender around with you. And it also solves a couple other issues too, like if you're going to mix your pre-workout or your protein, you know, it, it can be marketed a couple of different ways. But again, it's just a convenience that people will buy it for. Alright, on to the next one. So here we have a problem that a lot of people face all over the world and that's bad posture so what this company does posture posture quick fix is they sell posture braces to fix your posture so the problem is people have bad posture the solution is the product because it helps people improve their posture just by wearing this so see before after wearing it for only one hour a day. So if you have bad posture and you don't even know it and you see an ad that says, hey, do you have bad posture? And this pops up, they're like, wow, I can fix my posture just by wearing this little product for 23 bucks. You know, people will opt in to buy this. I mean, this has been sold like hell over the past couple of years. Like I know personally people that have made seven figures on this product. 
So problem problem solving products like this can be huge. They have a lot of potential and the amount of people that have these problems or issues are never ending. There's a huge market for these type of products. So this is another problem solving product that I think is great and this product has sold like crazy, especially over the past couple of years. I've sold a couple of these myself. Um, this is a waterproof microblading pen. So pretty much what it does is helps women color their eyebrows in to make it look natural. And uh, a lot of women have trouble with their eyebrows. So this is huge for them. Um, comes in different colors. I'll show you, they have a little video. You get the perfect eyebrow every time with this microblading pen. Just makes it look fuller, more natural, and this is, it's a non-smudging pen. It's waterproof, hair-like, looks natural, blah, blah, blah. Women really love these type of things and they really sell well, depending on how you market it and how it's presented. But as you can see, just to show you, they're selling it for 20 bucks. Let's go on AliExpress. If I'm even spelling that right. Um, let me just type in eyebrow pen. And here it is. So let's see. Let me find the exact one. So for 72 cents, and they're selling it for 20. Literally the same thing. So you see what type of potential there is with these type of products. And especially if you can get them this cheap, then, you know, the perceived value, you know, they're listing originally at $40, but they're on sale for 20, you know, for $20 to get perfect eyebrows, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good deal in the eyes of some of these women. So that's why they sell so well. So for the last example of problem solving products, here we have snow teeth whitening. Um, this is an issue that a lot of people face and it's having yellow teeth or just damaged teeth, just not white teeth. So what snow does is they have, you know, this little whitening kit that makes your teeth white. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this trend over the past few years and they've been really killing it with all their influencers. You see Mayweather and Chuck Liddell, they have uh, Rob Gronkowski, they have a ton of people. But they've really been killing it with their marketing. But this kind of sells itself and it's kind of a cool looking product. You know, this is like a scroll stopper. If you're scrolling through Instagram and you see a picture like, oh, what the hell is that? So. They did a really good job with their marketing on this. But this solves a problem. You know, this whitens your teeth and a lot of people can be self-conscious about their teeth and teeth are kind of the first thing people see when you look at them. And if this can help somebody with yellow teeth to have white teeth, you know, a lot of people have bought this and you can understand why. So let's see. So it comes with a mouthpiece, uh, these little whitening wands, this other wand for stains, blah, blah, blah. They have a whole kit. But, you know, people are very self conscious about teeth, and uh, this really solves a huge problem. So this company has made millions. And uh, it's pretty, pretty obvious why. So this is a great product, and I'm, I wish I got on this trend first, but uh, you know it's never too late. But 
definitely a good job by them. So as you can see, problem solving products have a ton of potential. And if you're just getting started, which you probably are, um, I feel like they're the easiest route to go because people feel like they really need these products rather than just want. So they're way more likely to buy these from you than some random tchotchke that they don't really need. So besides problem solving products, another characteristic that I look for when looking for products is if they have that wow factor or viral potential. So I don't know if you've ever just been scrolling through Instagram or Facebook and you come across a product and you're just like, wow, that's sick or holy crap, I need to share that with one of your friends, you know, those type of products. These are the types of products that you just like have to buy because they're so cool and unique or you just need to share it with one of your friends because you know that they need it and that they would find it very cool and interesting and they would have to buy it. So now I'm going to show you products that have this wow factor or viral potential and you'll see what I'm talking about. So first up, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this floating around on the internet, but it's the burrito blanket. So it allows you to roll somebody up into a burrito and it's going pretty viral now. So it's not just a regular blanket, I mean it is, but it has a burrito screen printed on it or however they did it. But people are going crazy over this and they feel like they need to share this, they need it, but it's just a blanket. But it's got that wow factor and it's like, I need that. Like, tons of people are sharing this and sending it to their significant others and friends and it's just funny and a lot of people love this. So simple items like this can really do well. I mean, it's not anything special, but it's enough to where people are really talking about it, sharing it, and taking pictures with it. They want to be seen in it. It's funny. So products like this do really well. So they're selling it for $21. I'm sure on AliExpress they have them. Let's see. Type in. Yep, and they're on here. So anywhere from nine dollars, twelve. Some of these are expensive, but I'm sure burrito blankets holding some stock. I mean, these are the same exact pictures right here. So just for the burrito one, the smallest size, ten dollars. But they have other ones too. Tortillas, eggs stuff like that but the burrito is the original one so for 10 bucks they're selling it for 20 but if they're holding inventory and got it cheaper their margins are a little better than that so even sold on macy's.com so with products like this like they have a lot of potential to do some pretty big numbers and this is just one example of one of those viral products so another example of a viral product or a product that has that wow factor is this galaxy lamp. So it's like a moon and it's got like galaxy patterns and it changes colors. I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere. They're kind of floating around all over Facebook and Instagram. So let me just show you what this is. <clears throat> so it turns different colors. It looks very aesthetically pleasing. It's a nice decoration and uh, a lot of people that are into galaxy stuff and the solar system and things like that love these type of things. So let me just play this video quick. So this is what it does. It has a little remote, changes colors. It's a nice little ornament. I'm sure you guys have seen this. But it's pretty cool and just like scrolling through on your newsfeed and seeing something as unique as this uh, it makes you just want to share it and Maybe even buy it for yourself. So they're selling it for $44. Let me just cross check it with AliExpress. Let's see. So here it is right here. Anywhere from $8 to, yeah, around like $8 to start. Now the color ones are twelve, and they're selling it for selling it for forty-five bucks. So there's a good amount of profit on there for them. 
to run ads and stuff like that. But you get the point. It's just a viral product that just seems cool and people would want to share it and you know have it in their house for decoration. So something similar to that Galaxy lamp that we just saw by the same people actually they sell this Galaxy projector and what this is is like a nightlight kind of thing that you know puts starlights on your ceiling. Um, this can be marketed towards kids, um, adults, people that like lights. So you can use it for a party, to relax, celebration, dinner. I mean, there's tons of different uses for it, but pretty much what it does is it just changes the whole mood of the room. And uh, a lot of people like this kind of stuff. This is a product that really just took off recently. And uh, a lot of people are selling this and having, you know, they're doing a lot of good numbers with this. So 69 bucks. It's pretty expensive, but also, let's see. Probably find the same exact one. Yep, right here. Let's see. So twenty-three bucks, and they're selling it for seventy. So there's a good amount of room left on there to uh, advertise. So this is a pretty good product, and it's getting shared like crazy everywhere. So that's just another example of a unique product. So while we're on the topic of Galaxy, I just wanted to show you guys um, this unique product that I'm sure you guys have seen, especially around the holidays, like Valentine's Day and Christmas and stuff like that, are, uh, are these um, Galaxy Roses. So these are like fake roses that just look like, I guess, like some kind of glass, like with Galaxy stained glass kind of looking things. But um, this is a company called Dose of Roses. So they just started really going hard with their branding and their marketing, and uh, they're doing some crazy numbers with these. But like something like this, girls love roses and girls love unique stuff, and this is just something that's just looks pretty crazy, and uh, you know it's a good gift. So especially for holidays, it could be seasonal, but it could also be for birthdays and other holidays, not just Valentine's Day. So I know a ton of people that have made six, seven figures with these. And these are actually very cheap to buy. So like they're selling a single right here, a single Galaxy Rose for 20 bucks. And let me see. And you'll see, you can get these same exact ones. It's like this, four bucks for one Galaxy Rose. Two to five bucks, let me just click on one. So literally the same exact thing, just different branding. See that? And then same, same stuff. But this company also sells, I know you guys have definitely seen these. The Rose Bear. This has been, this is extremely popular for Valentine's Day. Like. Everybody sells these, especially a bunch of influencers. They do a lot of good marketing with these. But Dose of Roses isn't the only people selling these. Like, there's tons of people selling these, mainly around the holidays. But you do see them floating around um, here and there. So, just a small eight-inch one is fifteen bucks. It's crazy. Fourteen. Oh, hold on. The eight-inch one is. 59 sorry it's four payments of 14.99 so the eight inch size is 59.99 or 59.95 and the 14 inches 79.95 let's see see here they are they're cheap So there you go. 14 bucks and they're selling it for 60. <laughs> Pretty crazy. But these around the holidays are they just fly off the shelves. 
but this is something that you know girls love roses and bears so these get shared all the time so this is a very good product but it could be oversaturated because once the holidays come around everybody tries selling these because they know that these are super popular so that's just a, another quick example of something viral and something that has like that wow cool factor you also want to be able to find a product that you can market with emotion because people usually buy based off of emotion and if you highlight their pain points especially for problem solving products um, they're going to be more likely to open their wallets and pay you for your product you also want to find unique products products that just can't be easily bought at a store down the street you know you want to find those unique products to where they have to buy it from you because they haven't seen it anywhere else so when you're looking for a product you want to just go over this checklist you want it to be either a problem solving product like a cool like it has that wow factor like wow that's you know that's sick or it or it has like images or videos that would go viral and people would want to share it I mean most of the products you want to be able to market with emotion and you always want to have a product that can't just be easily bought down the street because why would somebody buy it from you when they could just drive in their car two minutes down the road and buy it you know so you always want to have something unique but it has to be one of these three right here these first three it's got to solve a problem be very unique or it just has to have viral potential this will make things a lot easier for you especially if you're trying to get a winning product right off the bat other products will sell but I think having one of these three right here will definitely make your life a lot easier and it'll be a lot easier to sell especially if you're a beginner so these are the products you want to go after right here so the main place you're going to be sourcing all of your products from is from aliexpress.com so aliexpress is an e-commerce site based in China and it allows international shoppers to purchase items from wholesale retailers and they ship to over 200 countries worldwide and the best thing is they support drop shipping and there are apps that connect from Shopify which is your e-commerce platform where it's going to host your your store and it connects directly to Aliexpress to make everything a lot easier when sending your products straight to your customer so what you're going to do is type in A-L-I-E-X-P-R-E-S-S dot com and it's going to take you to Aliexpress dot com. Alright, so this is what their main, their main page looks like. Um, I'm going to show you guys around so you guys get familiar on where to find things and how to navigate. So what you want to do is you want to make an account and sign up so that um, everything can save but there's a bunch of different categories here on the left these are the main categories women's fashion men's fashion phones and telecommunication computer consumer electronics jewelry and watches home pet and appliances bags and shoes toys kids and babies outdoor fun and sports beauty health and hair automobiles and motorcycles home improvement and tools and they all have like subcategories in them so it just breaks down to you know women's fashion fashion dresses tees blouses blah 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 so you can really just scroll through any of these, like any any type of products you're interested in, um, just to get some kind of ideas. So if we just click one, outdoor fun and sports, it's just going to start listing off a bunch of their products, but you can also go down into subcategories. So let's go to fitness and bodybuilding. So here are all their items and then you could break break it down even more um, so one thing I do want to show you guys is that like say you're looking for let's say let's just say yoga mats just for instance alright so it's gonna list all the yoga mats here so what you want to do is you want to find suppliers that have a lot of items sold and good reviews because sometimes you'll buy something on here and it's not the best quality or the supplier doesn't you know the supplier takes a long time to ship it so what you want to do is you always kinda of wanna sort it by orders which is right here so click that 
and then it's going to just list them from orders sold from highest to lowest. So this company right here, they have 4.8 stars out of 5, which is good. Um, they sold 22,965 of these. So if you were going to sell yoga mats, like this is a pretty good supplier to choose because of how many sold and their feedback. So if you just click this, <clears throat> they'll have pictures, sometimes even good videos that you could use in your ads. But some some of these suppliers actually have like high quality images. These aren't the best, but uh, some do have high quality images that you're able to take and use on your stores. So if you come down to like, these are the reviews. So you can see how many five star reviews they have. So it's 80% five stars. Um, some of the reviews have actual pictures from the customers. So this is actually what the customer got and they're posting the review of it. So these reviews seem pretty good. And you could also sort it by um, reviews with photos. That way you can kind of see the quality that the customers are actually getting. Because you don't want to just send your customer some rinky dink product that's just not good quality because that's really just not a good business to run. You kind of want to have the customer happy with what they get. So I always check to see what their, what their, um, what the reviews are, how many stars they have. And I always kind of look at the reviews to see the actual quality that you're getting because sometimes you'll order a product and it's just not what, what you think it is. So, so always do your due diligence and you always want to make sure that, you know, the product is what it seems. So sometimes they have the videos which are good. I'm going to play this right now. Oh shit. <clears throat> this is kind of just displaying the product. <clears throat> But sometimes they give you good enough videos to where you could use them in your ads when you're advertising. So I'm going to go back. Also, another thing that I want to bring to your attention to see if a product is, you know, up and coming or already been selling a lot or saturated. Um, the reviews you want to, I mean, the the number sold you want to look for is probably between like two and six or seven thousand because that that goes to show that it's kind of a new product when you see products that have sold like twenty two thousand or fifty thousand a hundred thousand that means they're selling really extremely well but they could also be oversaturated and a lot harder to get into because everybody's already seeing these ads so right now I'm gonna look up burrito blanket I'm going to show you guys the shipping so really what you want to do is you want to mainly find stuff that ships from the United States and that's where you're going to choose it right here ships from United States so all of these mainly ship just from China but there are some suppliers that ship from the US but US shipping is really what you want to focus on because especially during times like during pandemics and stuff like that, shipping from China can just be kind of a pain because it takes so long. So shipping from the US is a little more expensive, but it will get there a lot quicker. So okay, just a quick little update right here. Um, I'm telling you guys in this video to just search, you know, search by shipped from United States. That's not necessary. I mean, if you want to get the fastest shipping times, it's going to be a little more expensive. So yes, I do suggest shipping by United States. But the next best thing is AliExpress standard shipping. It's honestly not that bad. You know, it comes in about two weeks, which is kind of long, but you know, it could be worse. And that's going to be the cheapest and kind of the most reliable way of shipping from China. And it's trackable. So your customers will be able to put in their tracking information and see where their item is. Um, you don't want to do the free shipping methods, you know, the ones that aren't trackable. So just look for AliExpress standard shipping. Okay. Typically, let's see. So shipping from China, 
they'll give you a couple of different options. So here are the options uh, shipping from China. So EMS ePacket. ePacket is what I used to use a lot, but since all of this stuff going on, um, ePacket has kind of started taking a lot longer. So they're typically shipping within like 12 to 20 days with ePacket. So it is kind of a lot, but if you let your customer know, then it should not be an issue. Also, AliExpress standard shipping, sometimes it'll get there before ePacket, but what's nice about ePacket is that it's trackable. AliExpress standard shipping usually isn't trackable, so you should always ask the supplier what their fastest trackable shipping is. Because if you're sending something without tracking, your customer is going to think like, where's my item? Is this a scam? Because they're not going to be able to see it. Like imagine you bought something from somebody and you're asking where it is and they say it's on its way but you can't track it. You know, it just doesn't, it's kind of not the best way to do business. You're going to run into a lot of headaches like that. So you always want to message the supplier and see what their fastest trackable shipping is. Usually it's e-packet but during different times um, it could be a pain and it could take longer than expected. So that's with shipping from China, but with US shipping is what you really want to focus on. It is a little more expensive, but that's the way you want to go because it can get there a lot quicker and it's usually always trackable. You know, so don't cheap out on the shipping because it's going to cost you a lot of headaches if you do. I would just pay the extra money for the shipping as long as there's enough margin for you to make money. I would definitely focus on the faster shipping. You're going to have happy customers, repeat customers, so on and so forth. You know, you want to make the best experience possible for your customers. And fast shipping and trackable shipping is definitely one of the best things to do. You want people to recommend your brand and, you know, they want to recommend it to friends to buy from you. But if there's a good experience and it's quick shipping, it's trackable, they're going to recommend it. But if it's not a good experience, why would somebody say, hey, I just bought this, but it took very long and I didn't know if I was going to get it or not, but you might get it. So, you know, it's just it's just not the best way to do it. So always do the faster shipping, United States shipping, and make sure you click from here. Always select ships from the United States because that, because that will pull up all of the suppliers that actually ship from the United States instead of just clicking individually to see if it if they have United States shipping or shipping from the United States. So let me give you a real life example. If I was to say, look for one of these galaxy projectors. So right here, they're selling it for 70 bucks. So let's see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sort by orders. Then I'm gonna ship from United States. All right, so all of these ship from the United States. So this one has the most orders with 1,500. It's still a little low, but it has 33 reviews and 4.7 stars out of 5. So what I would do first is go and check the reviews, which is down here with photos. Good product, product what I expected, fast shipping. So it seems like people are happy with this product. So that's a good sign. So now we're gonna scroll up to the top. So this right here shipped from the United States. So it's $14 plus $22 shipping. That shipping is expensive, but if you add it together, let's see. 1425 plus 2211 is 36 bucks. So $36, you're all in at 36 bucks shipped. And these people right here are selling this for 70. So, so that leaves them with $34 in profit before advertising costs.
So that leaves them with $34 in profit before advertising. So that's a pretty good margin. Um, and this is the one that I would go with. I mean, if you shipped from China, let's see. Shipped from China. So that'd be 23 plus 475. So that's $27 opposed to 34. But this is gonna take a lot longer. But if you were to ship from China, you always wanna hit up the supplier and ask how long their trackable shipping is. And you would also want to maybe even ask for a couple of tracking numbers, like recent tracking numbers to actually see how long it took. Because they can tell you, oh, it only took 12 days, but if you see the tracking and it's, you know, 20 to 30 days, you know, that's more of an issue. So what I would do is just kind of steer clear from shipping from China unless you absolutely have to, but always let the customer know. So shipping from the United States for this, you know, 14 plus $22 shipping, that's 36 bucks. You could sell for 70. So this is the one that I would choose and that is why I would choose that one. All right, so I just wanna go over a little recap of what we went over with AliExpress to make everything a little more clear for you guys. Um, these are the main points that I really wanna hit. So when you're looking for your product and you find a product that you're interested in, um, always start by sorting by orders. So what this is gonna do, this is gonna list the suppliers with the most orders sold of that product from greatest to least. So you always wanna look at the top sellers because they have sold the most and they're probably the most trustworthy in terms of having a quality product and shipping times. So the second thing is the sweet spot for orders for a product is between 1,000 and 7,000 orders, give or take. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a product with a little less or more, but this means that you know a couple of people are selling it and it's not too saturated, but it's a proven product and it's already selling. So that's why I like to stick between those numbers, but there's also nothing wrong with um, selling a product with a little more orders. It just might be harder in the long run because it might be a little more saturated. So the next thing you wanna do is always filter by shipped by United States or shipped from the United States. Um, this is gonna bring up the suppliers that have warehouses within the United States for faster shipping times. Um, it is gonna be a little more expensive, but this is the route you wanna take because if you're building a brand, you want your customers to get their stuff in a timely fashion. Um, there's nothing worse than having customers complain about the long shipping times if shipped from China. And with everything going on in the United States and China right now, um, it's better to have it shipped from the US than from China. So another thing you wanna do is once you find a supplier that you are interested in, you always wanna check the reviews and feedback for the product. Um, this will show you if it's a good product and if people are liking what they're receiving. And that is very important because you never wanna have some like a bad product shipped to your customer because they're not gonna be happy and they're gonna to wanna to return it and they're not gonna refer you to other people. So you always wanna make sure that you're selling a good product. So always check that first. Um, another thing is that you wanna check different listings because some suppliers have very good pictures and videos. You know, if they're high quality pictures, you can use them for your website. Um, if you can't find any high quality pictures, what I recommend doing is ordering the product yourself, either from AliExpress or from try finding it on Amazon.com and uh, either check Amazon's listing for their pictures that you could use or just order the product yourself and take some good pictures to use for your website and for your marketing. Um, another thing, if you have to ship from China, make sure you message the supplier first. Um, you wanna find suppliers that have trackable shipping that gets there in a timely fashion. So you always wanna ask them for their their fastest trackable shipping times and you wanna ask for recent tracking numbers from products they had just sent out to see for yourself how long the tracking actually takes. But this is a last resort, I don't recommend shipping from China, but if you have to, 
and the margins aren't there for you to ship from the US and you have to ship from China, make sure you do this because you don't want them taking forever to ship your items and you don't want them getting stuck in customs. So you always want to see with your own eyes how long it's actually taking to reach the customer.